I'm Chris Kane, orthopedic spine surgeon. I have a reasonably broad experience in spine pathology. Well, anterior surgery has been around for many years. And when I trained, it was something that was a fairly commonplace. And, and I was fortunate in my training that I was exposed to anterior surgery quite early in my uh, career. And I think the anterior approach has huge benefit to the patient. It sounds like we're taking a long way to get to the spine, but it's actually a quicker approach in that we don't damage as many structures, we don't mobilise or cut muscles to the same degree as we do posteriorly. It's one of the challenges with anterior surgery is that often the belly increases its pressure. When we cough, we sneeze, we strain when we go to the bathroom. That increases abdominal pressure, which puts increased tension on the wound. Well, wound closure is important because uh, it's the barrier between the outside world and uh, the patient. So to ensure good and reliable wound closure is important to prevent infection, to ensure appropriate healing and to reduce uh, the chance of nasty or ugly scars. I've used barb sutures uh, previously, not terribly reliably, and mainly they were for skin closure. Lots of knots required uh, and knotting a suture also weakens a suture, creates a stress riser. Moving to the newer techniques, the stratifix, both the symmetrical and the spiral versions, you don't have to tie a knot and you don't have to have somebody following your suture. Now a single person can do the wound closure. So it frees up the other individual to go off and do post-op orders or to see the next patient, prepare them for the next surgery. So it's a significant improvement in efficiency in the operating room. I think there are several benefits with using symmetric in the fascial layer. It provides a, a more robust closure, it's a bit more bulky. It provides even tension throughout because of all the points of fixation from the barbs, creates a better seal of the wound. It certainly limits wound discharge and complications due to contamination of the wound. And the spiral suture is used more for superficial subcutaneous tissues to, to close the wound. It gives a nice, low profile, transparent closure of uh, skin particularly. Both the symmetrical and the spiral are much more reliable in terms of their hold in the tissues for the time required to ensure tissue healing. It reduces surgical site infections, reduce returns to clinic, reduce returns to the operating room. And they are huge cost savings, not just to the hospital, but to the health system, which are very important things to consider when uh, looking at treatment options. And when you're using a suture like that in combination with a perineo, a waterproof barrier, it just enhances the ability of the wound to actually heal. Uh, with the uh, perineo, we have the advantage that it's a waterproof closure that provides the benefits of Steri-Strips or Hyperfix in terms of reducing the tension on the wound, but patients can shower more quickly, get up and move around, and it's durable in that uh, you can expect it to be in place for at least the 10 days, two weeks after the surgery. And the, of course, the wound contamination problems, patients having to come back to clinic for wound checks, it reduces the cost to the system, to the hospital, to the patient. The reality is that the scar is the only thing the patient sees. So regardless of what we do inside the patient, it's the scar that they look at and they see every day when they look in the mirror or they look at themselves. They love the fact that they don't have to worry about getting their wound wet. They don't have to worry about keeping it dry to the same degree they did previously. Patients enjoy the fact that they have more freedom without having to worry about checks or wound changes. I think we do everything we can to achieve the best outcome and a combination of the Stratifix suture and the perineo I think provides that. And those benefits are huge to the patient and to the health system.